A lot of feelings came out that that have been pent up. Well, I know she pays all the bills around the house. Yeah, yeah, I know she does Because everything. she makes most of the money, right? No, no, no. No, no, no. you guys want to do this, no, we're going to no. do this. No. The way that we communicate most of the time is yelling. I would like to give you the opportunity, Eric, to voice your opinion with how you feel. He hasn't provided as a man she should provide for his family. And it still seems like he's freeloading off of her. And Charles, what, what's your relationship like with him? I mean, at the end of the day, he's not your dad, but I mean, he's your stepdad. I mean, he's raised you. I can care less. He's put food in your belly. He's put a roof over your head. He's been there for you, right? Or not? <laughs> huh? Huh? Uh, uh, I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. No, I want to hear. Yeah, I want to hear. I think he's freeloading. <laughs> Tell you the truth. Yeah. That's what I know not to be. So learn your lessons here and there. And you, you're talking about that you don't feel like he's got a job because, what, he's a preacher? Uh, no, nah, like... But, that's a good job, but yeah, I think okay. that he... I mean, he could do that and he could do something yeah, else like something other else. people yeah, do. Like... So how much are you on board with this experience of me being here and, and changing situations? I'm fine yeah. with it. Huh? I'm all the way in. So you're 100% in? Yeah. Yes. I want a handshake on that then. All right, good. I want a handshake on that then. All right, listen, thanks for your chat, yeah? After speaking to Eric and Devante, I realised this family was all about the money. And I saw with my own eyes because a fight broke out over dinner time. What do you do all day, Charles? Been working all day long. So basically, you stay home all day, taking us places, and on a computer and watching the baby. When was the last time you took a trash can out? Dang. When was the last time you picked up your away. socks and things? When was the last time you did anything with, without your mother complaining and you getting ready to fight over it? When? When? When was the when was the last time? Get out of here. Yeah. Words got exchanged and a lot of feelings came out that that have been pent up. Well, I know she pays all the bills around the house. Yeah, yeah. I know she does. Because everything. she makes most of the money, right? No, 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 no. No, you guys want to do this? No, we're no, gonna do this. No. The way that we communicate most of the time is yelling. I would like to give you the opportunity, Eric, to voice your opinion with how you feel. He hasn't provided as a man she should provide for his family. And it still seems like he's freeloading off of her. There is some validity okay. to this. Can I just ask one question here? As a family, is this what you want? No, of course not. Absolutely not. This isn't healthy. I agree. It seems that there's been a lot of stuff that's been underneath for too long. Nobody listens and everybody talks over everybody. So today, I'm gonna to bring in a soapbox and everybody can have their say. Mom, why do you let Joseph get his way all the time just because he cries or yes. whines? Another issue of mine is instead of yelling, like when we have more family meetings like this. That soapbox just gave an opportunity for the whole family to voice their opinion on how they were feeling about everybody else. I would really love for one day for you to be able to say that I was there for you whenever you needed. And I mean that from the bottom and the depths of my heart. Eric, I'd like you to look at Charles. It's respectful. He's, he's, he's been very truthful and honest here. Sure. Well, I think Charles deserves the respect for you just to tell him that. If we change, everybody's changing their ways. Why not? For years, I have been treated as though I'm just trying to live off of your mother. But what has not been shown to you guys over the years is that uh, I was there helping her do those things, even though I was in the background and the shadows. Joe has definitely opened up my eyes to a lot of things. Listening to Charles and understanding Charles and um, not trying to be such a boss all the time. I just want to say you've done really, really good tonight. You've done really good. I never really listened until Joe opened up my eyes and, and my ears. So a little kid time, some older time, so we're gonna go and shoot some pool. Now the boys are doing more chores, what I need to focus on is Charles's relationship with his two older stepsons. Charles would like to very much have a friendship with the older boys, so I set up for the three of them to go down to a pool hall and to shoot some pool. So the reason why I thought it'd be cool to hang out here today, because you've always got the younger ones around, and they get enough time just to like hang out together, you know, and do things that are older. Well, this is a, it's excellent because I've wanted the opportunity for this for a long time. For the three of us to go and to just shoot a few games of pool was, uh, to me, a start toward making things better. When you and Bernadette got married, mm -hmm. 
you said you said yes to her, but but you said yes to these two as well, didn't you? I saw Bernadette at, at the time of a single mom, and yeah. I married the whole package of wife and kids. Game. Ooh. I win. I want my money, cash. <laughs> cash Shut money. Up. Cash money. Yeah, trap. Cash money. <laughs> I win. I don't want to hear you crying about Good it. Good start. So what do you guys think? Good start. Yeah. Something as simple as just playing pool. It's a step toward the unity that we should have in our family.